。はい。では、音読します。<笑>ここから一緒に行きますね。日本語も英語も行きましょう。ワン、ツー、スリー。忙しい通勤者のための便利なソリューション。毎日の通勤は特に長距離の移動がある人にとってストレスになります。この問題に対処するためにより多くの交通ハブが乗客のためにリラクゼーションゾーンやワークステーションを導入しています。これらの設備を提供しているバスや鉄道の駅を選ぶ通勤者もいます。これらの施設を利用することで通勤中にリラックスしたり仕事を片付けたりすることができます。このような便利な設備は空港や長距離移動のターミナルでも一般的になってきています。A convenient solution for busy commuters.Commuting to work every day can be stressful. Especially for those who have long distances to travel. To address this issue, more transportation hubs are introducing relaxation zones and work stations for their passengers. Some commuters choose bus or train stations that offer these amenities. By utilizing these facilities, They can relax or catch up on work during their journey. Such conveniences are also becoming common in airports and long distance travel terminals.、えー、では、今度はね、日本語ないんですけど、英語だけ読みましょう。質問で1。Question What do you think about the increasing number of people working from home? Answer I think that the increasing number of people working from home is a positive development. It allows employees to have a better work life balance and reduces commuting time and costs. Additionally, it can increase productivity since people can work in a comfortable environment. However, it is important for companies to provide. The necessary tools and support to ensure that remote work is effective. 質問例二 Question. Should children be allowed to use smartphones? Why or why not? Answer. I believe that children should be allowed to use smartphones, but with certain limitations. Smartphones can be educational tools. Providing access to learning apps and information. They also help children stay connected with family and friends. However, it is important to monitor their usage to prevent excessive screen time and exposure to inappropriate content. Parents should set rules and guide their children on how to use smartphones responsibly. 質問で3 Question. What are the advantages and disadvantages of studying abroad? Answer. Studying abroad has several advantages. It provides students with the opportunity to experience different cultures, improve their language skills, and again, and gain a global perspective. These experiences can make students more adaptable and open minded. On the other hand, there are disadvantages such as homesickness, cultural adjustment, and the high cost of studying abroad. Overall, the benefits often outweigh the challenges, making it a valuable experience for. Personal and academic growth. 質問例4 Question. Do you think it is important for people to learn foreign languages? Why or why not? Answer. Yes, I think it is very important for people to learn foreign languages. Knowing a foreign language can enhance communication skills and open up many opportunities in today's globalized world. It can improve career prospects as many employees value employees who can speak multiple languages. Additionally, learning a foreign language can increase cultural awareness and understanding, fostering 
better relationships between people from different backgrounds? 質問で5 Question How can we reduce waste in our daily lives? Answer There are several ways we can reduce waste in our daily lives. First, we can use re- reusable items such as shopping bags, water bottles, and containers instead of single use plastics. Second, we can recycle materials like paper, glass, and aluminum. Third, we should be mindful of our consumption. And try to buy only what we need to avoid the excess waste. Additionally, composing organic waste can, composting organic waste can reduce the amount of garbage sent to landfills. By making these small changes, we can contribute to a more sustainable environment. <laughs> 